Maybe you remember this photo because I showed it in the last video where I showed you some useful tips to help you navigate through Darktip, right? In this video, we're going to edit this photo, but I'm going to use the quick access panel only. And the reason for that is because, in my opinion, a lot of people make Darktable way, way harder than it needs to be. So if you're a Darktable maxi and you think that some modules are deprecated or something shouldn't be done in that way, please move on because this video isn't for you. But if you want to learn how to use Darktable in a very easy way without overcomplicating things, you need to stick around. Let's go. So the quick access panel can be found here, right? So we've got the show only active modules here. Then we've got the base modules here. We've got the color modules here. Then we've got the correct modules here. And then we've got the effect modules here. Now, like I said, we're going to use the quick access panel only. Now, a couple of things are being noticed in this image. One of them is that the flowers draw a lot of attention. It's very dull. It's very flat. And we need to change that. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some contrast first using the filmic RGB module that's in the quick access panel, right? I'm going to crank it up a bit. And then we've got three options for the color. So we can increase the vibrance if we want to. We can increase the chroma if we want to. And we can increase the saturation if we want to. Now, what I want to do right now in this case is I want to increase the saturation. If you want to learn the difference between these three, please make sure to check out my previous video linked up here where I go into depth what the difference is. But we've got a problem here because right now we've added more color, which means that the flowers are now even more distracting than they were previously. But we can tackle that using the color equalizers module. And for that, I'm going to use the brightness tab and I'm going to click this color picker and just click inside this flower, right? And that will show me where the brightness pixels are. So in this case, if I drag this down, you see that the flowers are becoming a bit more dark. I want to do the same thing for the saturation. I want to desaturate them just a tiny bit without making them gray. Now, let's place the picker here on this bridge. And now let's increase this because that way we can add in some more contrast by using the colors, right? I've added in some blues as well for the sky and that already looks a lot better. Now, I want to change the temperature as well from the color calibration. Uh, we can go this way, which will make it more blue. Double click it to reset it. We can go the other way to make it more yellow like. I want to warm this image up just a tad bit so that the day feels a bit warmer than it was back then. Next, we've got the tone equalizer module. I'm going to activate it. That's very important. And the tone equalizer has minus eight to plus zero. Now, if you use this module itself, right, you can use this to go over the areas and that will show you where the exposure is. So minus 0 0.3, this is minus 2.3 which means that if you want to change something, you'll need to change it in the designated area up here, okay? Now let's create this S type of shape. It looks a bit weird. It kind of looks like someone with a belly, if we <laughs> would have rotated it a bit, but that will add some more contrast into the image as well, okay? Now I'm not going to mess about with the exposure. I'm not going to mess about with the rotate. I'm just going to click lens correction. Okay. And now if I take a snapshot and I select that one and I select the first version, which is the right one, you now see that we've increased how this image looks in a very simple way, which is now perfectly enough to share on your Facebook with family and friends or share around or your WhatsApp without doing anything fancy to it or just printing it to have it in your album. And that's basically what photo editing for me is about. Get an image, make it a bit better, and then just enjoy it. 